Sometimes we want to wear fragrances without having to worry about the season, the occasion. We just want to wear something that is versatile, smells good all year round, despite the occasion. So in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about seven Parfum de Marly fragrances that are all season fragrances, incredibly versatile, and they also seem to land me a good amount of compliments. I'm excited to share this list with you. Make sure to stay tuned. video and I tell you about these seven Parfum de Marly fragrances that are super versatile but they also happen to land me a good amount of compliments. I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you're a fan of fragrance related content please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's episode. I also want to mention that if you're interested in sampling Parfum de Marly fragrances, you may do so at Sensplit.com. Really good prices on decants of popular niche and designer fragrances. This way you can sample 1 mLs or 5 mLs without having to purchase the full bottle. And also, if you're in the New York area, there's going to be an event this Friday for the official launch of Haltane, which is Parfum de Marly's newest release for men. An amazing combination of praline and saffron and agarwood and a bunch of spices and it's really really good so it's going to be at their boutique on washington street all of the information is going to be down below it's going to be at 5 p.m i'm going to do my absolute best to be there there's like a 95 percent chance that i'm going to be there so i hope to see you there Thank you for coming out if you are interested in attending the event. Let's just go ahead and dive into the list. The first fragrance that I want to talk about is actually one of the oldest fragrances from the brand. Also, I think one of the first releases from the brand, this one from 2009, is called Darly. Now, a lot of people have compared this fragrance to Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I find this fragrance to be much fresher and much less on the dirt and soil side of things. You know, patchouli sometimes has that effect in fragrances and for me personally Le Mal is all about the mint it's all about the lavender and the vanilla this has mint and lavender doesn't have vanilla but it does have tonka bean and it's really really fresh incredibly versatile also does pretty well in the compliment department not to mention that the designer counterpart if we're going to go with Lamal, that also seems to do very well in terms of compliments for me although i will admit i do get more compliments with ultra mall but I digress. Of course, this list would not be complete without me mentioning um, a great release that actually came out, not the most recent, but fairly recently. This one is Greenly. Now this has a lot of freshness. It has some, you know, oceanic ingredients in here, a touch of Ambroxan, if I'm remembering correctly, a Hesperides Accord. It has apple in the opening. So this is a very fresh, bright, fruity, green and versatile fragrance. This is called Greenly. It's really, really good. If you haven't tried this one, you definitely need to try it. Like I said, one of the more recent releases from the brand, but definitely a versatile fragrance. There's just something very attractive about that opening, very bright and green and citrusy and fruity, but it's very well balanced, right? It's not overly sweet. It's not overly fresh. It has a nice combination of all of those really addictive components. Of course, we also got to talk about Leighton. Leighton is the best seller from the brand, right? This fragrance has bergamot, mandarin, violet, jasmine, guayaquil, cardamom, patchouli, vanilla, pepper. This is an amazing combination of some really interesting sweet and spicy ingredients. Definitely the most versatile fragrance that the brand has to offer. I will throw in a little caveat and I'll mention that I actually do enjoy wearing this one in the fall and winter mostly. There's something about that spicy vanilla that has these autumnal vibes about it. But for me personally, especially with comparison or contrast to Leighton Exclusif, which is the much darker flanker, I actually prefer to wear this one on a much more regular basis versus Leighton Exclusif, which I think is quite limited in the sense that I personally prefer to wear it in the winter time. It's just really heavy. And another thing that should be noted about Parfum de Marly fragrances in general is they seem to be on 
the longer lasting side of things. And so longevity is not an issue when dealing with Parfum de Marly fragrances. Of course, we also have Sedley. Now this fragrance is deceptively long lasting. Now it has this incense note in the base, which is a really interesting contrast to that bright citrusy minty quality that you'll get from it. So it seems to be a very diverse note breakdown some dark elements, some bright elements, uh, but this one is a really, really well done. This is actually my second bottle of it. So I have the older, I don't want to call it older formulation, but the older batch that has been left to sort of macerate and it's gotten quite strong. Now, any Sedley that you'll pick up on the market is pretty strong. This one, I actually tested it a few days ago and it's still really good in terms of longevity the lasting power is there again a very consistent theme and a motif in marley fragrances now one of the fresher offerings is definitely galloway galloway is very bright orange blossom little inky as well smells like lalique white it's very effervescent very smooth easy to pull off definitely one of the more versatile fragrances from marley and it just smells clean that's one of the main compliments that I've received from it. Leighton, I've gotten some crazy compliments with. Um, but with Galloway, it's just people like, oh, you smell nice. Oh, that whatever you're wearing smells clean. And that seems to be pretty consistently the feedback that I'm receiving with it, which is great, right? Like nobody wants to be thought of as being anything other than clean. So personally, I love that. Next is one of my favorites of all time. Of course, I also love the exclusive version of it, but I think the original Pegasus is one of the more versatile offerings from this brand. There's just something intriguing about it. The almond, the jasmine, the vanilla, such a really nice combination of some of these really addictive elements. I seem to enjoy Pegasus a lot. And of course, the most versatile fragrance that the brand has to offer. I will debate you <laughs> on this because I really believe this. This fragrance is incredible as an office fragrance, as a formal occasion fragrance, as a casual fragrance. There's a certain quality about the raw materials that makes me want to wear it formally, but the DNA is so accessible that it can wear it casually. And it also gives off a professional aura. And this is none other than Percival, the most versatile fragrance that Parfum de Marly has to offer and definitely the biggest compliment getter. I have gotten more compliments with Percival as of the shooting of this video than any other fragrance from the brand. And I've gotten a few with Leighton. I've gotten a few with Galloway. I've even gotten a couple with um, Sedley, but I've definitely gotten a lot of compliments with Percival. And again, if you're thinking about that Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce or that Mont Blanc Legend vibe that is given off with that bright citrusy, contemporary, masculine, clean lavender, that's precisely what you're gonna get with Percival, but the performance, the projection, the longevity is quite loud that that's the reason why you get so noticed with this fragrance. So Percival is amazing. I'm super stoked to have the fragrance in my collection. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today. These are seven Parfum de Marly fragrances that are incredibly versatile. They also happen to have very good performance and they do pull compliments as well. Again, all of these fragrances are available at SenseSplit if you're interested in sampling. And once again, there is gonna be an event this Friday, I think May 6th is the date. It's gonna be at 5 p.m. on Washington Street at the Parfum de Marly Boutique in Manhattan. All of the information is gonna be down below in the description box. I hope you can attend. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, hit the bell, give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.